Workshop Wednesday. Happy day to you. I hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing great. Sitting at the microscope. Been sitting at the microscope. Going to be sitting at the microscope. It's engraving time. Um, got a little deal to show you guys today I came up with yesterday. I, it's not rocket science. You'd think, what the hell took you 20-something years, Willie, to come up with this? But it's cool, man. So the microscope is, as I've been telling you guys, is something that I, that I love. Uh, I should have done it a long, long time ago. I can see. Uh, Josh Owenby told me last week, he said, Willie, you can't engrave that good. You just got a microscope and you can see. I totally agree. I can just see. It's fun. Well, as I'm doing inlays and getting my hammer and chisel out and I'm whacking away, I'm over there at the vise. Microscope's over here. Not a good combination for my aging eyes. I figured out how to deal. And the reason I go over there with the vise is because it's solid. I can use a bigger hammer and I can whack, whack, whack and, and uh, things stay in line and stay crisp and clean. And, and uh, you know, that's why I like the microscope, but I go over there to the big vise because things don't move. Because look here, that's my ball that I use for engraving. Y'all see how easy that moves? When you get a big old hammer and you get one of these big old chisels, like so, and you're going whack, whack, whack. Well, it goes whack, quack, 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 like that. And that's just not a good, that's not good. It's not efficient. It takes all the all the force out of your hammer. So look what I created. It's just a drill press vise. If what I had, there's other options. There's better options, smaller things. Y'all see that deal whacking out? Whoop, that's not good. We'll fix it. We'll get it all rigged up. That little tail sticking out, um, that's, that's just something we're gonna have to deal with today. But I got this bit shank, which that's a whole nother topic of what the heck I got it stuck down in there. It's like lead. I knew y'all were gonna ask and I'm gonna have to get, I'll get back to you. I'll tell you what that stuff is. I discovered it when I was in GRS uh, at the Grand Masters deal in 17, I reckon. That's a long time ago. But anyhow, um, that's why I can't remember. Anyhow, I will, uh, I'll tell you what that is. Back onto my original deal. So I got this big block piece of steel. It's thick, it's two inches thick, heavy. It ain't just gonna move, it's heavy. So I come in here and I do these inlays like this with my hammer and chisel. I can whack on it and nothing moves. It stays under my microscope and around and around and around and I can see and I, Cut the outline of my inlay with my graver, like you see there. And then the rest of that is done with them big old hammer and chisels. And it happens fast. It doesn't take long. Um, got some other things in the works of how to maybe do it faster and all this business. But right now, that's the fastest way to go about it for me. And it certainly works. And this little addition of this big plate, it doesn't, okay, it's got a flat bottom. Doesn't give that action, which, uh, in this situation it's fine you see how everything's flat i don't need uh, i don't need the thing to move back and forth to engrave a dome surface it's all flat so this flat bottom works really good and the weight and the rigid and the rigidness of all this makes it an awesome deal so anyhow um modify your situation uh, kind of like i did get get you a big old block of steel and, and a simple drill press vise clamp things on there if you need to whack under the microscope, away you go. That's your workshop Wednesday the other day. Speaking of engraving, guess what? I got a class, not next week, the week after, 25th through the 27th. I got lots of room, lots of opportunity. You want some one-on-one -on -one time? Get your butt to this one. I got four people coming. Yes, we're gonna have it. It's gonna rock and roll, um, but there's lots of room and I could use a few more of y'all. Um, and I would like to think that y'all could use some of my pointers. Just like that dude. How cool is that? I'll give you lots of that. Give you three days of it. Teach you how to draw. Um, teach you how to cut. We'll get you started. You can go home and work on it. Anyhow, Patreon's rocking and rolling. Um, been doing lots of engraving videos on Patreon. Uh, cut sequences as I do my fine English scroll style of engraving in steel. Uh, working on the spurs. That's what's up here in the block right now. Got the old buffalo spur, repeat of the buffalo spurs going. And so there's progress picks from engraving this morning. And away I go. Oh, yep. 
Got to sculpt the buffalo. Scares the water out of me. Sculpting is hard. Yes, and that's what Patreon's doing. I'm showing you all the process picks, and, and um, I've been doing some picks here lately instead of these silly videos. You don't have to let me ramble on. It lets me uh, give you process uh, over a time lapse of, of one cut at a time or one step at a time, and, and I can see how things progress along instead of just a little short video but my videos i'm getting where i edit those things together too and, and show you show you process and instead of watching four hours of video of me rubbing on something you can um, sit in, in 15 minutes so anyhow all good i hope i think patreon's doing well uh, getting up there got 80 something followers now so woo that's good i'll get in get in while you can uh, anyhow i got it actually set up to where you can you can pay for the whole year and you get a 10% discount. So that's cool. Patreon, it gives you lots of different ways to, to share and see. So anyhow, I hope all's well. I hope you're enjoying Workshop Wednesdays. Uh, I enjoy doing them. And, and uh, you know, we'll see you all in a week, uh, next week. And then we'll see how Workshop Wednesday goes up the engraving class. Yeah, maybe I'll show you all what everybody's doing. See you all soon. Adios.